Greetings. It is my pleasure on behalf of the School of Health Sciences and Education to welcome you to the 12th Annual Student Recognition Ceremony. As you can see, our usual recognition format is quite different this year due to the coronavirus, but our intent is the same, to celebrate your personal, professional, and academic achievements. There are many stories and memories about Fred Rogers but one of my favorites is this quote. When I was a boy, I would see scary things in the news. My mother would say to me, look for the helpers. You'll always find people who are helping. I believe this quote is very fitting for this occasion for several reasons. First, it is a tenuous time in our country. Our lives have all been disrupted in many ways. How do we survive? We must rely on our faith in God, rely on each other, and rely on the many helpers. Second, many of those helpers we see and hear about are professionals like you. Educators, nurses, occupational therapists, physical therapists, social workers, psychologists, public health professionals. You are becoming those helpers, and very soon, you will be providing assistance to our country. During the next few weeks, universities across the country will be graduating health sciences and education professionals. The difference between us and them is the Franciscan values woven into each of our programs. We see things differently. We look at situations differently. We look at the whole person. This makes us unique. Students, keep up the great work. I am so proud of you all, and you should be extremely proud of yourselves and of your accomplishments. You embody the hard work and drive necessary to be future leaders. And parents and family members and friends, congratulations to you as well. Your ongoing support and faith in the students' abilities have provided the foundations for their academic and future successes. Thank you for the opportunity to share this moment with you. I wish you only the best in all that you strive for. Hello. On behalf of St. Francis University and the American Sign Language Department, I am so excited to celebrate the accomplishments of three ASL minors. The first award is for Outstanding Leadership and it's given in grateful appreciation and distinguished recognition of the commitment to humbly leading events with the utmost respect for the deaf community. This year's winner is Megan Rabbits. ASL is a better team because of you. Thank you so much for everything that you have done for us. The second award is the Academic Excellence in ASL and Undergraduate Studies. It's awarded to the student who's always raising the bar on academic excellence and inspiring others to perform at their best. This year's winner is Amanda Ferguson. Thank you so much for everything that you've done for us. I just remember like it was yesterday, the first time that we met. I'm just so thankful for everything that you've done. The third award which is so near and dear to my heart. It's because it's in memory of my best friend. 
The Karen Walkney Mergenovich Award is given to a student for exhibiting enthusiasm while becoming a lifelong learner of ASL and deaf culture and following in Karen's philosophy of bridging the gap between the deaf and hearing communities. This year's winner is Mara Sitalone. <laughs> Thank you so much and for working so hard. I am so thankful to all three of you for everything you have done and I will miss you. On behalf of the St. Francis University Education Department, I'm pleased to celebrate the accomplishments of three education majors. The Benjamin Delosier Award for Generosity acknowledges a student from the Education Department who displays acts of compassion and generosity. The recipient of this year's award is Alexandra Fleming. The Beverly Fry, Mary Fr Francis Croak, Excellence in Early Childhood Education Award recognizes an early childhood education major who displays high moral character, outstanding potential as a future educator, engagement in campus service, and co-curricular activities. This year's award winner is Jocelyn Sheehan. The Outstanding Pre-Service Educator Award recognizes an education major who demonstrates commitment to lifelong learning, participation in community and extracurricular events, a high QPA, expertise with technology integration, advanced pedagogy, and positive mentor feedback. This year's recipient is Megan Shingler. Congratulations, award winners. This year, the Exercise Physiology Program will, will present three awards and one recognition of student excellence. The first award is the Academic Excellence in Undergraduate Studies Award. This award honors the student who received the highest GPA in the Exercise Physiology Program. This year, this award goes to Ms. Jessica Haverilla. The second award is the Internship Excellence Award. This award honors the senior exercise physiology student who has demonstrated outstanding performance during internship experiences. This year, the Internship Excellence Award goes to Ms. Shailen Parry. The Outstanding Senior Exercise Physiology Student is, a, is an award that honors the senior exercise physiology student who has demonstrated academic achievement, exemplary professional behavior, and involvement in extracurricular activities. This year, the award goes to Ms. Jessica Havrilla. This year, we wish to acknowledge um, three students who participated in the Mid-Atlantic Regional Chapter of the American College of Sports Medicine College Bowl competition. These students competed directly in a Jeopardy-style event uh, against other schools in the Mid-Atlantic region, right, uh, based on exercise physiology knowledge. Right? Since 2000, we have either won the competition or placed second, which is a testament to the quality of our students and the faculty who teach them. Students would have competed in the national competition in San Francisco, except for the COVID-19 pandemic, which resulted in cancellation of the meeting. This year, we wish to acknowledge those um, members of the group. It's Jessica Havrilla, Shailen Parry, and Jillian Elliott. Congratulations to all our award winners. I'm Dr. Teresa Horner chair of the department of public health and graduate health sciences and we are thrilled to be here with you this evening the department of public health and graduate health sciences embraces the university's mission inspired by our patron saint francis of assisi as faculty we walk with our students to become that someone as they journey onward tonight 
we celebrate those individuals who significantly emulate the mission of our university, the field of public health, and the Franciscan tenants. The public health program has three awards to bestow this evening. The first, a Mind for Excellence Award. This award recognizes academic success and achievement in the classroom. To be eligible, students must achieve the highest grade point average of all public health program graduates and have exceptional faculty recommendations regarding academic performance, intellectual depth, and motivation. Tonight, we recognize a young woman who demonstrates initiative, integrity, and achievement in addition to those aforementioned qualities across all of her academic pursuits. Please join me in congratulating this year's Mind for Excellence Award recipient, Megan Wurst. Our second award is a Spirit for Peace and Justice Award. This award recognizes the Franciscan values that emphasize respect for diversity and the uniqueness of individual persons with an understanding of ethical issues and reverence for all life. With a spirit of simplicity and joy, we recognize a student in her daily life that emulates these qualities. Please join me in congratulating this year's Spirit of Peace and Justice Award recipient, Mackenzie Case. Our third award is a Heart for Service Award. This award seeks to recognize an individual who has demonstrated a commitment to share their gifts of service, compassion, and understanding with others in their daily lives through random acts of kindness and volunteerism. This year's Heart for Service Award goes to a young woman who exhibits a passion for service. Please join me in congratulating this year's Heart for Service Award recipient, Christina Yakazik. Congratulations, Public Health Award recipients. We're incredibly proud of you. And now we'll move on to the Healthcare Studies Program um, Awards portion of our program. The Healthcare Studies Program has three awards this evening. The Shooting Star Award recognizes students who have demonstrated progressive academic achievement during their undergraduate pursuits paired with concrete career aspirations in the healthcare field. Our first two awardees this evening are young women who have been accepted into the St. Francis University Masters in Public Health program and will begin their academic pursuits in the fall of 2020. Please join me in congratulating our first two Shooting Star Award recipients, Kristen Oliver and Katie Kincaid. Our third Shooting Star Award recipient is a young woman who has worked at UPMC Mercy during most of her undergraduate years and aspires to pursue a career as a physician assistant. Please join me in congratulating our third Shooting Star Award recipient, Gabriella Seibert. Congratulations, Healthcare Studies Program Award recipients 
our congratulations and best wishes to all. Thank you. Hello, my name is Dr. Rita Trofino, and on behalf of the nursing faculty, I would like to announce the Department of Nursing Awards for 2020. The first award is the Spirit of Caring Award, and the recipient is Rachel Brady. The student recipient of this award has empowered others using a humanistic and caring approach to the art and science of nursing, and we expect them to grow professionally while making lasting contributions to the profession. Rachel, you're most deserving of this award. You always come through when he asks you to volunteer for the nursing department. You've tutored many students and have helped struggling students and are just supportive overall of all students. We're very proud of you and congratulations. The Outstanding Senior Nursing Award. The recipient is Cassandra Capero. This award is given to the student who has demonstrated the highest clinical achievement and has a minimal GPA of 3.0. This award represents excellence in nursing practice in all areas of nursing. Cassie, you're most deserving of this award. We had the entire clinical faculty vote on this award. The faculty des described you as having the best time management being the most organized, always helping others, and just being clinically phenomenal. We're very proud of you. Congratulations. The Academic Excellence Award. The recipient is Margaret Stern. This award honors the student who has the highest GPA throughout the professional phase of the nursing program. Meg has consistently maintained a 4.0 GPA throughout the professional phase of the nursing program. This is no small feat given the rigors of our program. Meg, you're most deserving of this award. You're the top student academically for the nursing class of 2020. Congratulations. The Jody Latin Award. We have three recipients who are tied for this award. They are McKenna Luzier, Carissa Norris, and Emma Olson. This award is given to the outstanding freshman nursing major based on the highest grade point average. This year, we had three students that tied for this award. All three of them had a 4.0 GPA. We never had this before, and we're very proud of all three of you. McKenna, Carissa, and Emma, congratulations. The Lane Award. We have four recipients for this award. Sophomore Taylor Denham, junior John Wynn, and seniors Brittany Claussen and Emma Zedeker. This award supports a sophomore, junior, and or senior nursing major who is in good academic standing and has demonstrated financial need. Additional selection criteria include a commitment to the profession and service to the community. Brittany and Emma, John and Taylor, you're all very deserving of this award. You've done very well in our rigorous nursing program, clinically and academically. We're very proud of you. Congratulations. And on behalf of the nursing faculty, I'd like to congratulate all of the nursing students, especially the senior class on doing such a wonderful job this year. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Thank you. DOTI department is pleased to present two awards on this day. The first award is for the student who achieved the highest GPA from the freshman to the senior year. This award goes to Lauren Fastis, who earned a GPA of 3.9. The second award goes to the Outstanding OT Student. This award is based on academic performance, leadership, and service. This award goes to Abigail Taroski. Congratulations to both award recipients. Hello. On behalf of the faculty of the Physical Therapy Program, I would like to take a moment to first congratulate all seniors graduating 
from the School of Health Sciences and Education. We wish you the best of luck and much success as you begin your careers or continue your studies here over the next one to two years. I would also like to congratulate the seniors in the physical therapy program. We also wish you continued success over the next two years. It is my privilege to honor two of our graduating seniors for their commitment to learning in the profession that they have chosen. The first award is the Academic Excellence in Undergraduate Studies. The purpose of this award is to recognize a strong academic performance throughout the pre-professional phase of the physical therapy program. The criteria for this award is completing the undergraduate program with the highest overall QPA. On behalf of the faculty in the program, I am proud to announce the 2020 Academic Excellence in Undergraduate Studies recipient, Monica Lohman. Congratulations. The second award is the Outstanding Senior Physical Therapy Student Award. The purpose of this award is to recognize the student who embodies foundational attributes to develop into an exemplary physical therapist. Specific criteria for this award includes a student who strives to freely share their gifts and talents with their classmates and others, a student who engages in active service to those in need, for example, the care clinic, uh, reach every door, relay for life, et cetera, a student who demonstrates the qualities of an emerging leader, and finally, a student who's engaged, responsible, and shows a commitment to learning. I am proud to announce the 2020 Outstanding Senior Physical Therapy Student Award to Jessica Havrilla. Again, on behalf of the Physical Therapy Program, congratulations to all award recipients and graduates. Thank you. Hello, Dr. Bebout here, Chair and Program Director of the Physician Assistant Program. On behalf of the faculty and staff of the Physician Assistant Program, I am honored to present four awards this evening. The first of these is the Certificate of Academic Excellence Award. This award is presented to a didactic student for their academic achievement, as well as their determination, self-motivation, and diligence. This year, the award is presented to Alexandra Eck. Congratulations, Ali. The second award is the Certificate of Outstanding Professional Achievement. This award is to a didactic student recognizing their professionalism, their leadership, and their willingness to support the student body and campus community. The winner of this year's award is Carolyn Kwan. Congratulations, Carolyn. Our next award is the John Orachowski Award. This award recognizes a didactic student for their humanitarianism, as well as their involvement in the Physician Assistant Student Society. This year's winner is Haley Cottle. Congratulations, Haley. The final award that we have is the Lauren Edwards Memorial Award. This is presented to a sophomore PA major, and it is in recognition of their positive contributions to the university and the community. And this year's award winner is Alyssa Martiak. I wish everyone the best of luck as we near the end of the academic semester. And I want to say uh, good job to everyone for persevering through all of these challenging times. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Stephen Baker, the chairperson of the psychology department. It is my pleasure to be able to announce the annual psychology student awards this evening. Each year, the psychology faculty gather together and look at the graduating seniors in the psychology department. We identify individuals who have outstanding academic records as judged by their QPA, both within the psychology courses that they've taken and within all their courses at St. Francis University. We also look for someone who has been involved in the psychology department, either through 
activities with the psychology club or and or through independent research. This year, we have two outstanding students. The first student is Angela Barkovich. She is a double major, biology, aquarium, zoological sciences, and psychology. And our second outstanding student is Samantha Hedges. She also is a double major, health sciences, occupational therapy, and psychology. Job well done, ladies. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Dr. Mark Lynch, and I'm with my colleague, Professor Sue Black. We're going to name the two students that are identified as the outstanding social work students of 2020. The award is given to both due to the outstanding performance using the criteria of academic performance, service to the Department of Social Work, the university, and the community at large, and their performance in the field experiences in social work. Both students graduated in the fall of 2019. Amber Rogers is the first student we're going to talk about. She is a very invested, hardworking student and had a highest GPA in the senior class. She served as co-president of the Social Work Club with our other awardee and studied international social work with me in Taiwan. Megan Michael is the second student to be named Social Work Student of the Year. Megan was the co-president with Amber. She invested a lot of time and energy into the planning of the Social Work Club events, spearheading the fundraising of Families of Spinal Muscular Atrophy annual golf tournament and planning the annual Take Back the Night educational event on campus. She plans to attend Shippensburg University to attain her MSW degree and then eventually go on to law school. Congratulations to both Amber and Megan.